Hi, I'm Ross. And I'm Meg. And, and this, this is Coco. Coco. And, and we're, we're from County Wexford, Ireland. Ireland. And you're, you're watching, watching Trucker Josh, Josh on YouTube. YouTube. everybody we are in Carrington North Dakota just headed out this is where we spent the night we picked up these lo this load of these uh, uh, what do you want to call them mobile yard lights mobile security lights mobile generator security lights uh, uh, whatever you want to call them uh, we picked them up in Berlin Wisconsin and we've already driven a little over a day as we picked them up uh, Monday evening Drove a little ways Monday evening, and then Tuesday was yesterday. Filmed, or uh, drove all day yesterday and filmed, so if you haven't seen yesterday's vlog, go back and check it out. And uh, we have two more days to get all the way up to Fort McMurray, Alberta, in Canada. So today we'll be in Canada. Not too sure where we're gonna end up, but we gotta go far north in Alberta up to the oil fields where uh well, oil field country we're not actually bringing these to the oil field but i'm guessing they're going to be used on the oil field we're just bringing them into town so for now let's just focus on uh what we have in front of us today a full day of driving we're gonna go through most of north dakota here across from portal north dakota into north portal saskatchewan canada and I'm guessing we'll probably end up either, uh, well, I don't know what my route is exactly. I did check my route, but I'm not too sure exactly where I'm gonna end off today, and I haven't planned that far today. It's not that important to me. As long as I get further than 700 kilometers or like further than like 450, 500 miles today, I'll be fine to do the rest tomorrow. Doesn't really matter where I stop today. Tomorrow we have to make it to our destination though. It's gonna snow. I don't know. It's a little misty. The clouds, they look like snow clouds. I don't know what snow clouds are, but those look like snow clouds. They look like they're holding a bunch of snow. And we're headed towards where they got like four feet of snow. We're in uh, central North Dakota right now, maybe a little uh, east of central. We're in about in the middle of the road, Highway 52. I and that guy's gonna make a pass. Okay. We got one of these big trucks hauling a, a piece for a, a huge wind turbine in front of us here. And uh, it's going slow. And I've just, you know, just been sort of coasting behind them. They've got a grain truck between me and that guy. But oh, some of these truckers out here are making some dangerous passes, like that guy. I know you can't see him, but. Oi, yay, yay. Oh man, dude. Ah, uh, well, people will be people, right? So, uh, anyway, we're just. 
just gonna slow. This guy's not going that slow. I mean, he's doing 55 mile an hour. Speed limit's 65, but I mean, I'm okay with it. I'm not in that big of a hurry today. Maybe that's why. If I was in a big hurry, I'd be very frustrated right now. But all depends on the day, right? Today, I'm just sort of relaxed. I'm wearing my sweatpants again. I know, judge me all you want. I'm comfy. I'm comfy. I'm having a good time. Relaxed, stress-free. Got lots of time to get to where I need to be. Truck is running well, knock on wood. Got some coffee in my belly. Got some fruits in my belly. Got my dash camera working again, like my other one, not the one you're looking through right now, but I have an actual uh, a DOD or a DOD dash cam. And uh, it wasn't working for the longest time. I needed a new SD card. So I stopped by Walmart yesterday, got a new SD card, and now it's working again. So now when uh, people do crazy stuff in front of me, I got it all on film, because that one's filming 24 seven. This one down here is not. The one you're looking through, I can't have this one filming 24 seven because I don't have that much storage space because I use such uh, high quality. Like I'm, I'm filming in 2.7K right now. I could film in 4K, but I don't see the point in that because you guys wouldn't even notice unless you're watching me on like a 100 inch television screen. And even then, you probably wouldn't even notice unless you zoomed right in and you get what I mean. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, it's just lawnmowers. Now that's a lawnmower. I need to get me one of those. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Just giving her. Good for you, buddy. Have fun. I love mowing the lawn, too. Rolling out of Minot. Why not stop in Minot? Well, I did. Stopped here and had a nice hot shower. Got a new coffee. Didn't really need it yet, but we stopped, so. When in my not, right? And now we're on our way. It's still a long way to go today yet. Probably about another 10 hours is what I could drive. I mean, I probably won't drive that long, but probably at least another eight. And I feel good that I'm cleaned and showered now, though. Didn't, didn't get a chance to last night. I felt dirty. get ourselves back on the highway here. I think this is Highway 2, right? And then Highway 2 and 52, and then 52 sort of juts off. So we got a four-lane highway here for a little bit. And then it turns back into a two-lane highway once the 52 leaves this road. This is a popular road for uh, Western Canadian trucks because everything from Saskatchewan West that's going Going to or coming from the United States, the Eastern United States, comes through here. I'm surprised they haven't twinned it all the way to the border. There's a lot of heavy truck traffic here. I guess it's not heavy enough yet to warrant a whole four lane high. That'd be a lot of money, I, I get it. Would be nice though, because there's a lot of Americans. I mean, it's not just Canadian trucks, it's 50-50, it's both going back and forth, right? I don't know, maybe in the future, maybe before the end of my career. We'll see that, we'll see. Who knows, I might be driving an electric truck by then. And I'm not opposed to that at all. And I'm not opposed to driving electric trucks. Like the whole electric truck thing is kind of interesting. It's kind of exciting, just a little bit, you know? Like, but they've got a long way to go. I mean, they've got to make the electric truck affordable, first of all. And they've got to make the range a little better. I mean, we got to be able to do at least 600 and maybe like, it'd be nice if we could do 800 miles on a charge. And then they got to put charging stations at every truck stop. They got to make that electricity affordable. It's a lot of infrastructure they've got to build. It's a lot of work. And then the biggest thing about driving an electric vehicle though is the battery, the lithium ion batteries, right? They have what, a, a life of what, who knows, on a big truck, probably only like five years. Who knows, maybe maybe less. And then they go and sit in the landfill for 10,000 years once they're depleted. So it, it's very bad for the environment that way. That doesn't help much. All right, well, 
my second random search at the Canadian border in just a few months. I haven't been searched at the border going either way in probably seven, eight years. Now I've been searched twice within a few months just to keep me on my toes. They didn't find anything, spoiler alert. <laughs> nothing to find, I got nothing to hide. So let's get out of here now. This, this whole thing is under construction right now, so I gotta figure out how to safely get out of here without hitting anybody. So we've left the facility now, and you can see all the construction. You know, they're doing a lot of construction at the Emerson port of entry as well. I think Canada is updating a lot of their uh, ports of entry, at least in the west, which is nice because traffic is getting heavy. More and more and more trucks going through here, which is good. It's a good thing. Lots for us to do. So we'll get ourselves around here, follow the signs towards Estevan. Be on our way. Oh, well, they're even renovating the duty-free store on this side. Very nice. All right, not towards the U.S. border. We'll go back and visit them again soon. Don't worry. For now, we got to go to Fort McMurray. Wonder how many times I'm going to get randomly searched. Are you guys watching my videos? Are you upset that I'm being a little critical? <laughs> They're doing a good job, okay? All you wonderful, wonderful border agents, you're doing a good job keeping us safe on both sides of the border. You guys are great, even though you waste my time every now and then. I know it's nothing personal, right? <laughs> really nice guy who was dealing with me today. Really nice guy. I'd be friends with him if I lived around here. Asked me how my trip was going, really friendly about everything. You know, sometimes they're all just business. You know, this guy, was he did his job. He did his job well, but he was also nice about it, friendly about it. And, you know, I just had to go, uh, he escorts me back to the truck so that I don't take off running, I guess, and uh, gotta get Diesel out of the truck so that he can search it without Diesel licking him to death, you know? And uh, we go wait in a separate area where I can't see the truck because I'm not supposed to be able to see what he's doing, right? It's Just let him do his thing. He's not gonna find anything. I got nothing to hide. So he looked through the whole truck. He was actually very nice about it. Some of these guys, they throw your truck upside down and just leave it like that, right? They'll unpack all your bags and just leave it. They won't repack anything. But this guy was nice about it. He didn't make a mess. Got a little bit of mud in my truck, but that's okay, I forgive him. He's a nice guy. Yeah, and he came back and uh, stamped my paperwork, gave me the go-ahead. Bada-bing, bada-boom, we're on the road. We're allowed to come home. So I always say that, like, I used to say that those searches were rather rare, but, uh, you know, you never know. Those random searches, they pop up randomly. And now I'm going through a series of months where I'm getting searched way more often than I have in the past. So it's a good thing. It's a good thing. They're, they'll catch people who are doing some shady stuff that way. And we're once again in the megatropolis that is Saskatoon. Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. I'm gonna be staying here the night, I've decided. I'm gonna go to the Husky and uh, and stay there. Should be parking there for me, I'm thinking. Still got what, like three, three and an hours and 22 minutes available, but I've only got 850 kilometers left to go. It's like 500 miles, so I'll do that tomorrow. I wanna stop and get a good rest. This is just the main drag going through Saskatoon on the north side of the city. We've got to turn right or turn north onto Idlewild Drive. Look that street name up once and how they spell it. I don't know where they came up with that name, but it's it's unique. <laughs> I wonder if this guy in front of me is going to the exact same place as me. No idea who he is. But I bet you there's one spot left at the truck stop and he's going to take it. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm not that negative. If, if there's no parking available for me here, I, I have lots of time on my clock. I can still continue going. I'll just go further down the road then. Most people do like to stop in the bigger cities like this. Like I do too, especially as the weather starts to get a little colder. Like right now we're looking at, uh, it's four degrees 
Celsius. Where's that siren coming from? Here's siren. It's not behind me. It's not in front of me. That building over there is always lit up in different colors. That's the Saskatel Center. I believe that's where their Saskatoon Blades hockey team plays. Huskies right up here. Just look for the big Canada flag and you'll find the Husky. There she's, oh, they don't have the flag lit up. Oh, they do, yeah, sort of, just in. No, they don't have it lit up. You should have the flag lit up, my friends. Aren't you lighting up the flag? There you see Husky Travel Center. All that over there. Every Husky has a big Canada flag. That's how you can see it from far away. Anybody coming over there? No? Nobody coming? Nobody coming? Nobody coming? Nobody coming? Nobody coming? Nobody coming? I'm going. All right. And here it is. So we're just going to keep turning right here. We've got a Tim Hortons right across the street. It looks like the Tim part of their sign isn't working anymore. It's just Hortons now. Huh. Look at this. They got their Christmas lights on here already. Would you look at that? <laughs> you know, I was in Walmart in Fargo yesterday, and they had Christmas trees out for sale already. Christmas trees. In October. Christmas trees. Like, before Canadian Thanksgiving. Before Remembrance Day. Before American Thanksgiving. What in the world? Walmart's just all gung-ho down there. They're ready for Christmas. All right, let's get in here. Why are these cars parked back here? Oh, it's because there's an event at the Sastel Center. Oh, so they take up spots for us. And look at all these cars here taking up spots. Oh, that's not very nice. We need those spots to park. I don't care if you're going to a concert. All these cars here, that's just rude. That's just rude. Those spots are for the big trucks. You can go park anywhere else. That's a nice truck right there, speaking of. Ugh. Okay, well, looks like there's still plenty of parking for me, so it's not gonna be a big problem, but luckily it's not full. Crazy. I got you on my head right now, so I don't have to focus on finding a spot here. Hi, I'm Russ. And I'm Meg. And, and this, this is Coco. Coco. And, and we're, we're from County Wexford, Wexford Ireland. Ireland. And you're, you're watching, watching Trucker Josh, Josh on YouTube. YouTube.